Michelle here with your encouraging word for Wednesday. Today we're going to be reading from Colossians 1, 9 and 10. And it says, for this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. Listen, our very purpose as Christians is to live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. And in order to do that, we need wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And that comes from the Holy Spirit. That comes from living a life dedicated to God's word, dedicated to prayer and the, the promptings of the Holy Spirit. There's no other way to live a life that brings God glory except through the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen, we can try in our might to do the things that bring God glory in. Yes, we are able to do that to some extent, right? Like we can, in our willpower, make things happen. We can push ourselves to the limit. We can push ourselves over the limit and we can really get things done. But that is not the life that God calls us to. That's the life that the world calls us to. The world calls us to striving and grinding and hustling, you know, and just doing everything in our strength and our power to make things happen. But once we become believers in Jesus Christ, that strength comes from the inner strength of the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us. Listen, when we are in the word of God, we are growing in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding that helps us live a life that is more wise, that is more fruitful, that is more glorifying to the Lord. Now, I know it sounds so basic. It's simple, but we like to confuse things. We like to make things way harder than they need to be. I do it myself. I I believe we all do it. We we take on these tasks. We take on these burdens that that don't belong to us. They belong to the Lord, right? Our battle belongs to the Lord. Now, what does that mean? That means that when we are going through issues, when we are going through hard times, when we are in need of change, the first thing we should do is get our Bibles and read the Word of God and meditate on it and fellowship with the Lord. That's the second thing we should do is just pray and fellowship with the Lord and just grow in intimacy with him, grow in, in connection with him so that when the Holy Spirit leads us, we can follow that prompting with conviction, with confidence, with wisdom and knowledge and understanding, right? Because we've connected all three. So that's how we live a life that brings God much glory, that, that bears fruit, spiritual fruit in our life. We live that life by doing the three things that I just said, by getting in God's word. We must be in God's word every single day. Yes, every single day. And that doesn't mean that you're going to read the entire canon of scripture every single day. I mean, I don't even know if that's possible, but it means that we are going to be reading the word of God every single day. I don't care if it is a chapter, a verse, a book of the Bible, whatever it is for you. I want you to make a commitment to do that every single day. Now, if you haven't been in scripture for a long time, or if it's not a discipline of yours, then start slow. Then start by reading a verse a day. I mean, there's so many... Uh, programs. There's so many uh, verse of the day things that you can find online that you can sign up for that they will deliver it right to your email. I mean, we can't get it any simpler than that. I mean, you could probably sign up for text messages right to your email. Just a verse 
a day. And that's where I want you to start if you are not already in the habit of reading scripture every day. And number two, I said fellowshipping with God, praying. That praying is simply talking to God. It's having a conversation with God about the, the situations and circumstances and issues and challenges in life that we are facing. We simply talk to God about it. We share our thoughts, our feelings, our actions. I mean, we can literally share everything with God and we should. He knows it all anyway, but when we feel like there's things in our life that we literally cannot speak out loud, we have a hard time getting over them. We have a hard time moving past them. That's why it's so important to verbalize our thoughts. Now, I don't just want you to verbalize your thoughts just to anyone, all right? We can get um, in trouble if we just share our every thought, you know, with with people that maybe won't take it in confidence, that, that maybe think that it's gossiping or, you know, it's a juicy something to tell people. We could probably get in trouble if we do that. So I'm not telling you to just blab out all of your thoughts and feelings and actions to people. I'm telling you to do it with the Lord. And you can do that um, quietly to yourself. You know, it's great if you have a location where you can just get quiet with the Lord and maybe verbally say it out loud, or even, you know, journaling your thoughts and feelings to the Lord. That is another great way to just get it out there, to, to make it known to you and the Lord, nobody else, so that you can really process it and maybe ponder solutions or or, you know, when you're reading the word, there's the Holy Spirit is going to bring to light something that you read that's going to give you wisdom or knowledge or understanding about the challenge that you're facing. See how they all connect? And number third is following the promptings of the Holy Spirit. When you have a deep, intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, he lives through you, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, you need all three. You need the word prayer and the Holy Spirit to live a life that brings God glory to, to unlimited glory to God. That is how you do it. Now that's a very simple process, but it is not easy. So I just wanted to bring that video to you today and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. So to top it all off, I just want to pray for you that God would just answer your yearnings and your cravings and your desire for more of him. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you that you care about every single detail of our life and you want us to bring everything to you. So Lord, I just pray that each one of us who are listening to this video, that you would just draw us in, that you would give us a, a yearning and a desire to go to you that will not be satisfied until we do. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you for, for who you are to each one of us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that video encouraged you. If it did, please like and share a comment with me down below so we can continue this discussion and be sure to subscribe to my newsletter. All right, take care. I'll be here next Wednesday. God bless.